What is the most disrespectful thing that someone has done in your home? Friend must have seen me once put in the code for my spare key lockbox, and I came home to her in my fucking house, mind you, we are not close. Her excuse? She had to go to the toilet. Safe to say, I reset that shit and didn't invite her over anymore. Weirded me out. My mom made a huge dinner for my aunt and cousins. They showed up 2 hours late, told my mom oh sorry the boys can't eat that much right now and just went in our fridge and made them sandwiches instead. She invited a bunch of sleazy guys over, despite me asking her not to. She let them in while I was in the shower, so I did not realize they were in my house. She then took one into my housemate's bedroom and locked the door, super disrespectful to my housemate who had so kindly offered that she could stay in her room as she was going to be at her boyfriend's for the weekend. When I got out of the shower one of the guys was in my bed, and I was like dude, get the fuck out of my bedroom. And he refused and said my friend said he could stay there. I was very not okay with that. I physically had to push him out of my house. The next day, when she sobered up, I kicked her out of my house and did not speak to her for 3 years. It was after an awful spinal surgery I went through when I was 12. They were cousins and my parents caught them trying to steal my painkillers. Constantly unplugging electronics. First it was the thermostat, she didn't like the sound the water heater made, then the wifi, the CIA was snooping on her, and finally my fridge, she was saving the environment. Not house but apartment in college. Rumut invited a bunch of people over one night. We each had our own bathroom, clearly marked. I go to get something from my room, and hear obvious facking in my bathroom. I knock on the door, and say wrong one, get the fuck out. After they came out I saw that they had cleaned themselves up on my nice white towels. Apparently she was on her period. Dude crapped his pants while sitting on my couch playing a video game and just sat there finishing the match. We were having an old fashioned LAN party and the entire room cleared out. A friend from college day stayed in our house while he was looking for a job in the area. The only house rule was do not let the cat out, he's strictly an indoor cat and never goes outdoors. We came home one day and found the slider and screen open, our beloved cat was gone. When he saw how upset and distraught we were, his response was, it's only a cat, no big deal. As I've noted here some time ago, we put this guest out right away, and it wasn't until many days later that our cat returned home, thin, but safe. I was a kid my mom had a friend and her son over. They were over for a couple hours, and just as they were leaving I noticed all of my video games were gone. I told my mom. She goes grabs his backpack and of course they were all in his bag. His mother immediately came to his defense, saying he's got a lot of games, and must have thought they were his. It didn't even make sense and she acted as if nothing had happened. Anyway, terrible mother, kid had no chance. He is now in jail for life no parole for shooting and killing a cop during a cocaine bust. My dog peed on the arm of the couch, the ottoman, and the fridge when I first got him, so that was pretty fucking rude. We invited a group of people over for lunch. One of them arrived, put a bunch of food on a plate in a plastic container, and left to bring it to eat with her boyfriend. Edited as my memory comes back. Not my home. But I was renting a house and the landlady kept turning up unannounced and would let herself in and would give the key to people doing work on the house without telling us so we'd, without warning, have strangers let themselves into the house. It was a very stressful way to live. Somebody left small children in our house while they went to the grocery store. A now ex-girlfriend came into my parents home for only the second time and said to my mother wow it's tidy in here for a change ha her I could see in my mother's eyes the thought process of how to slap her to the next century without making a scene. Thankfully she laughed it off, but that was a big red flag for me and my ex. A rolled room had pissed in my cat's turpin because I deserved to clean up his piss. He was mad I wouldn't pay his rent for the third month. Dig bag kicked my cat, smoked my weed without permission, pissed on the toilet seat, then stole some games when they left. All in one 40 minute visit. My wife's cousin was staying at our house because he is going through marital problems. One night I woke up in the middle of the night and I heard some change rattling. He walks down the hall with my 5 year old's piggy bank. He was taking money from my fucking daughter's piggy bank to buy beer and smokes. 
I had a massive piss up for my 18th, close to 100 people, so I knew something would go wrong. Turns out the worst thing that went wrong was that someone was somehow able to sit in our oven. Edit 1, piss up is Australian slang for party. Edit 2, for those who wondered how someone is able to fit in an oven. Just imagine Jerry from Rick and Morty. Edit 3, I didn't have to clean it out, old mate who did it had the honors. Told me that my food was sit, and refused to eat anything. When my husband was in the army we invited a bunch of single soldiers to have Thanksgiving dinner at our house, rather than let them languish in the barracks. One of them was a childish private. He began the night by plopping down on the sofa to play with his gamma boy and announced that he hated turkey, ignored everyone else for the next hour. Alright. No problem. I made a massive dinner and there's plenty of other things to eat. When it came time to serve up the buffet people lined up and were heaping their plates and this jackass kept loudly complaining that there was nothing good. Selected a few items and joined everyone at the table. Took one bite of one. Thing, visibly gagged and threw down his fork, announced that all this food was sit, and left the table. Went back to the sofa with his gamma boy. Everyone blew it off, and ignored him for a while. We enjoyed our meal and people went out of their way, to tell me how lovely the food was, and to thank me for inviting them. People began to break up and get drinks. Music was turned up, and we settled in for a nice evening. About an hour after dinner the stinker began to bitch, that he was hungry. That there wasn't anything to eat. Would not shut up. Demanded that somebody order pizza. At one point he asked for a peanut butter sandwich. I made him one. And he was pissed. Because it was whole wheat bread and he only liked white. After he rejected the sandwich I didn't know what the hell to do. I stood there holding the damn thing. And I was pretty close to throwing it at him. Three soldiers abruptly excused themselves. Pulled him off the couch. And marched him outside. The soldiers came back in about 15 minutes later, picked up their drinks, and continued the conversation. Like nothing ever happened. I never saw him again. And I mean ever. He must have been banned from every social function from then on out, because it's like he never existed. The sad thing is, that a lot of immature kids are encouraged to join, by exasperated families in an effort, to make a man out of them. Rarely works. Thankfully they never last. One night the girls who lived in the apartment across the hall brought a friend with them to hang with us. As soon as she walked in she screamed this will be hilarious. College guys always get the shitty, hand me down dishes from their parents. She walked into the kitchen and began pulling out pans and dishes and howling about how old and ratty they were. Our friends were mortified. When they tried to talk to her she talked louder. After 30 seconds of this lunacy my roommate and I told her to leave. She threw a giant fit and called us our souls. When I was in like second grade, I invited this girl over and we made popcorn as a snack. And not even 5 minutes later, this twat decided it's a good idea to run all over my house throwing it everywhere. This goes on another 5 minutes while I chase her down. But the damage is done. The popcorn is in between couch cushions, under the fridge, under my bed, in my laundry basket, all over the damn floor. My mom ends up sitting us down and proceeds to lay it out on her, telling her that what she did was disrespectful and to help clean up. She pouted and said no, saying since it wasn't her house she didn't have to clean shit. She continued to pout as my mom called her mom and pretty much told her to leave and to not expect to be invited back anytime soon. I haven't spoken to her in a while, but apparently she got banned from the mall for trashing a lush store with her friend throwing food, dumping out products, and smashing bath bombs, so I guess she hasn't changed much. Kicked my dog. She was all around a shitty person, so it felt like karma when her breast implants got infected. Edit, majestic river pup attacks. Lock me out of my own bedroom. Proceeded to destroy my stuff. Then had the nerve to yell at me for saying she can't go back in my room. Intruded in a homemade family dinner run invited, and then insulted my cooking. Didn't get a thank you either. Started opening all the drawers in my room. Had a drunk party goer attempt to do pull ups from the planks of my old ranch style ceiling just beneath a heat event, and ended up pulling down a large portion of my ceiling. Refused to pay for it. Someone fucking broke my Super Smash Bros. 40HR GameCube. 
a guy that in a previous week sexually assaulted me, and I had told never to come around again, entered my house during a party after a guest let him in, when I was in the restroom. I came out, and saw him on my couch, and said get the f out, and he responded with fub1tch. I punched him in the face, and broke his nose. He called the cops. They came. To my door, and asked what happened. They told him to go home, and never return or he would be arrested. Edit cleaned up the tried. He did.